Good evening, teacher. Hello, Eduardo. How are you? Fine. Very happy that I could attend today. Yeah. After two years. Love day in the office. After after like two years. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, are you busy in your office nowadays? Right now. Uh, well, in, in the last month and, and this month um, are kind of rough because uh, the moment the movement starts uh, with the uh, I really don't know a campaña escolar school campaign um, I, school campaign starting December. So, uh, because all is about make sales to, to different countries, because the product is produced right here, but it's not consumed right here. It oh. went to it's uh, another Africa target. Can, uh, call. What, what kind yes, of products right. are you, Eduardo? All uh, lunch boxes, uh, squeeze. Um, and yeah. do you have Hello Pencil Kitty case, lunch? Uh, well, <laughs> no, because uh, our license are just with Disney, Marvel, and and locals like uh, well, uh, um, Fernando Jort have Pokemon? have a, a line a, a line for pencil cases. And it's expensive. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know that. But it's it's very it's very it's very funny because it's it's a small target, uh, it's a small market that that approach to to this. But it's kind of beautiful. Hey, that's new very, for me. Very well done. So so you say that you have pencils with the design of Fernando York? No, pencil case. Oh, pencil case. Uh, and what's what is that, DJ? Yes. What's it's, the material with the pencil case? Yeah, uh, plastic. Plastic. Oh, okay. I work in Taco Plus. All is plastic. Okay. Uh, I, it, it, I, I, I used to have a Roxana doll. Well, the Roxana. Taco Plus. Taco, uh, Taco Plus produced that or. Taco, Taco Plus. Um, eat. <laughs> the industry of Roxana. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Like, uh, <laughs> so they merge. It's a merge. It's a merge between. But, they but merge are you because still... they, they have the same, the same a uh, board, the same action action is board. But are you so still in selling the the Roxana model? No, not anymore because. Uh, mm. The, the machines that make the dolls were selling. Wow. I throw my, my last Roxana doll. Yes. Why? <laughs> because so it we was old teacher. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be a memory from your childhood. <laughs> yeah, my, my mother uh, gave me that when I was two years old. Imagine, it has more value. Yeah. <laughs> And now that I, I know that Roxana is a beer. <laughs> bad decision. Yeah, bad decision, Tito. Karen, how are you? Are you better? Hi, teacher. Yes, I'm better. Okay, good, good. Gilberto, how was your day? Uh, today was a very, very busy day for me. Uh, I rise. I I just write uh, a couple of minutes house and I I so tired. I imagine. And what time do you have to be at work tomorrow? Tomorrow, uh, I need to to get up to four a.m. 4 a.m. Yeah. 
Okay. So you have to go to sleep early. Yeah, but I need to 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 work in the platform and then do the exams. <laughs> Like a good Salvadorian, you leave everything for the last minute, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're not the only one. Sometimes I do that too. <laughs> no, teacher, and they're different in El Salvador. Good Salvadorian. Good Salvadorian. You're not that. Yeah, you leave everything for the last I, minute. I, I finished all the platform. Oh, okay. Teacher, yes, teacher, today I woke up at 5 p.m. to finish that. Good. So you're responsible. Yes, I'm very responsible, teacher. Okay. How do you say I soy una mujer de palabra, teacher? I keep my word. I keep my word. Okay, good, nice. Okay, everybody, welcome back. So this is our last session of the level of the module. And um, here we are. You have been resistant. Yes, teacher. Good. You it's guys nice are, to say goodbye. You are made of good material. <laughs> okay, <Thanks>. good. <laughs> um, let's talk about yesterday. What did we do yesterday? Um, we are talking about, um, we were talking about, uh, we, we asked some questions, um, uh, creativity, is the bread good, Cindy? <laughs> yes, teacher, <laughs> my mother gave me <laughs> Okay. Good teacher, and, 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 and I'm having my dinner time right now. But okay. I'm responsible and I have to practice in, with my classmate and you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, people. Okay, Cindy, that's okay. Um, just enjoying. Yeah, Thank just you. enjoy. <laughs> All right, uh, so what did we do yesterday? Mm. You don't have to speak, Cindy. That's okay. Don't worry. We understand you. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. Somebody? Anybody? We talk about We're creativity. Asking. What is it? We talk about creativity. Yes, creativity. Yes. How creative a person is. Yes. From 1 to 10, how do you consider yourself to be creative? Nine. Nine. I'm Eight. the best teacher. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> what about you, Maribel? How creative are you? Maribel, can you mm, hear me? Not, not too much. Not too much. Okay. Nidia, uh -huh. how creative are you, Nidia? Um, exactly. I don't know. I think it's because you can be creative for something. And for other, you know, right. Exactly. It depends what your interest is. You know, like if, if, if something that you like doing, you will be creative. But other things, you'll be like, no, someone else can do it. Yes, exactly. Okay. Um, anybody else? Any questions about yesterday? Comments? Mm -hmm. No. Teacher, we are we we had a goodbye. How do you say the uh, farewell. farewell? Farewell. Farewell. Yes, farewell. Yes. Farewell. Everybody's coming to your house, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> to <laughs> my mom. Yes. <laughs> to eat sweet bread. I, I, I had coffee. Okay. And I'm going to present and I introduce my three cat. Okay. In good. my tortoise. Okay, so please send us your location so we can arrange the time <laughs> and the day. <laughs> yes. All right. Anyways, um, so you see the chat? 
it says farewell. farewell. That means farewell. despedida. Farewell. Farewell. Okay. Yes. All right, good. Um, so today we have three different activities. Hmm? We have three different activities. We have three different activities. We have one that is listening. The other one is related with vocabulary and speaking. And the last one is grammar. There is a section in the platform that is reduced um, relative clauses. Relative clauses. Something, like Something really like simple to do, but sometimes grammarians, they try to complicate things and they put a name to every single word, but the explanation is very uh, simple. Anyway, so let's start with the first one. Uh, let me share a document here with you. Got this here. Uh, right here. All right, do you see the document? Yes. Yes, yes it is. All right, what's in the chart? Verbs now. Verbs and nouns, verbs and nouns, yes. Can somebody please read the, the section where it says verbs? Analyze, yes. explore, find, make, organize, solve. Good. So analyze, explore, find, make, organize, and solve. All this, all the vocabulary that you see here is related with the questions you guys are going to be discussing. Um, any questions about the vocabulary in the verb section? No, no question. Okay. Now, another volunteer to please read the noun section. A mistake. A mistake. Uh huh. A problem. A situation. A solution. Uh -huh. Alternatives. Possibilities. Information. Good. So there you have it. Any questions about the nouns that we have there? No. No, no question. Okay. So first thing you gotta do, you got you have to combine the verbs with the nouns. So if I say to uh, analyze, which nouns can you use uh, to mix analyze? Uh, analyze information. Possibilities, analyze possibilities. Uh -huh. What else? Analyze, analyze a problem. Yep. Anal analyze alter alternatives. Choices. Yes. yes. Right. What about explore? Explore alternatives. Explore information. Uh -huh. Possibilities. Okay, good, good. What about find? Find a mistake. Find a solution. Find, a solution. Yeah. find information. Find oh, alternatives. Good. Yeah, I think all of them except problem. Nobody likes to find problems. <laughs> no. But sometimes you, you, you find that. All a problem. Yeah. Well, actually, problems find you. Me? Why, teacher? No, I said problems find you. I mean, in general. In general. Uh, no, I didn't say problems find Cindy. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What about make? What's the combination with make? Make possibilities. A mistake. Mistake. Make a mistake. Possibilities. Make a problem. Make a problem, sure. Uh, make a solution. Make, make alternative. Okay, alternatives, yes. Make a solution, teacher. Uh, no. I think that find a solution sounds better. Okay. Yes. What if you say organize? Organize. A organize a problem. Situations. Information. Okay. okay, you organize mm -hmm. information. Alternative situation. Yes, alternatives. 
possibilities. Possibilities, yeah. Yeah, possibilities, right. Especially when you have to give them priorities, like you have different possibilities, but you gotta decide uh, uh, first things first. So you gotta classify them. And what about the last one, solve? A mistake. Oh, yeah. A problem. A problem. So a situation. A situation. Okay, a problem, a situation. I think those only two. Yes. Yes. So All right. Just All right. only two. Okay, so this is vocabulary that people use, people usually use whenever there is a, a problem, a mistake. What is a synonym of problem? Mistake. No. I know, teacher. Trouble. Um, trouble. Trouble. And what's trouble. another one? Issue. 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 Very good. Issue. Issue. So you can say problem, you can say mistake. I mean, you can say problem, trouble, or issue. Very good. All right. Uh, when you have a problem, how do you usually solve it? Independent problem, bitch. Yes, it depends on the problem, right. Analyzing. You but analyze it, right? Not with money, teacher. Well, if it's financial, you could solve it with money. Sometimes asking for help. Sure, sure. Yes. You know, and, and sometimes the solution is very simple. You just need to ask for help. Yeah. Yeah, because we cry a river. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we have three different questions that you guys are going to discuss. Uh, Lourdes, can you please read the first one? Okay. When you make decisions, do you explore all the possibilities first? Okay. Second question, Douglas. Who do that? Who do you talk to when you need to find a solution to an important problem? Good. And the last one, Mr. Pides. When was the last time you analyzed a mistake you made? What did you learn from it? Okay. So remember, whenever we make mistakes, that is normal. Um, why are you always... Yes, Maribel, you have a question? No, I don't know. Okay, uh, so when you make, a, making mistakes is normal, it's, it's human, but uh, you need to learn from your mistakes. So you're gonna discuss these three questions. Uh, let me see how many people I have connected here. I have 14, so I'm going to make four groups but if I see five okay let's make five so make sure that everybody speaks and here we go hey hello how are you I'm okay you good good so you're not wearing glasses today, uh, Ricardo? I forget, teacher, in my office. You you forgot your glasses at the office? Yeah, I forgot. I'm, um, I have problem, but I see a little. Uh, okay, so you so you so you're okay now. Yeah. All right, good. So start discussing the first question. Okay. Let me go and see the document uh, in, in chat, teacher. Huh? Uh, in, I sent it to the WhatsApp, but let me share it right now. Okay, WhatsApp. It's in okay. the chat. Yep. I see it right now. All right. Okay, said. So when you make a decision, do you explore all the possibilities first? Uh-huh. I think that's the best uh, way to, to do that, explore all possibilities, because you have a different 
ways to solve uh, a, pro a problem. I always try to explore all the possibilities, teacher. Okay, good. What about the others? Maybe depend on the environment, uh, the situation, and your the moment you need to take a decision because if you're angry, uh, maybe. Because sometimes, uh, as uh, Evelyn says, in the work, in work, sometimes you have to to take quickly decisions. Yeah. You don't have time to. You don't have to, too much time. To think. But in your life, you have to make the time for think about. Yes, I'm agree. <laughs> Okay, what else? So number two is, who do you talk to when you need to find a solution to an important problem? Mm -hmm. In my case, uh, it, it, it depends on the problem. Because yeah. if it is a, I don't know, a familiar problem or a, sorry, with my relatives or with my friends, I will not tell my mother, oh, I got a problem with my best friend. Of course, I, I would talk with my, with another friend. So maybe I, I, will, I will ask for an advice to both of them, but, but I don't know, it depends on the problem, I think. Okay, what about the ladies? <laughs> I think the same, it depends on the problem. Uh, like this, he can give me a solution. I always go with my supervisor, with my boss. Okay. I explain what is happening, and then he can, can give a solution. Okay. Um, in my case, I usually ask to myself to find uh, possibilities or alternatives, and then I talk with my boss or my supervisor. Uh, maybe they approve a solution and it make. I don't know how to make make, make possibilities sometimes. All right. I'm sorry. She, she said that uh, has problem with his inter his inter Teresa, her can inter you hear? Sorry, I can't I can't hear you. But you are listening. Yes, I can. Okay, so I I, he I hear you. Not uh, clear. Like, I don't know what to say. Yes. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay. It's your friend and you share your personal things with them. Well, sometimes they can, I don't know how to say, um, uh, se me fue la palabra. What's the In word? Spanish. In Spanish. Yes. Traicionar. Uh, betray. Betray. B? Betray. Betray. How do you spell that? B E T R. B as in baby. B E T R. T R A Y. Betray. A Y. A Y. Betray. Yes. Mm -hmm. You see the chat? Yes, betray. Uh, betray. Okay, good, excellent. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wrote that. <laughs> and, teacher, why uh, are you always to be teacher and uh, envidioso? Jealous. No, it's a celoso. No, it, it's got it's not the same. Meaning. Yes, it is. Jealous. Oh. Jealous means celoso and also envidioso. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now the thing is that in Spanish, celoso is one thing and envidioso is, is different. Celoso has to do with feelings 
Envidioso is for material things, right? Mm -hmm. But in English, in English, you use the same word. Okay. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Thank you. And the number three. When, when, when was the last time, last time you analyzed a mistake you made? Mm -hmm. mm, today. <laughs> what did you learn from it? Uh -huh. What did you learn from it? I learned to. But I think that. <laughs> what do you okay. think about? Um, well, about this topic, um, I don't understand stuff, but uh, I'm trying to explore more. <laughs> okay, excellent. You know, step by step, you can improve your English. It's, it's not easy. In my case, I'm not really good with English, but I try to to learn day by day. <laughs> nice <laughs> yeah and, and remember that uh and that's exactly how you improve by by speaking even if you make mistakes when you talk i mean everybody makes mistakes i make mistakes people from the united states they make mistakes native speakers they make mistakes yeah. just like the same way we make mistakes when we speak spanish you know and we have been speaking spanish all our lives and we still make mistakes Right? So English is the same. Yes, okay. especially especially grammar mistake in Spanish. Uh-huh. <laughs> right, right. Uh, I'm afraid of writing Spanish. I consider that my Spanish is okay, but my writing, I have to be very careful. Oh yeah, you know, teacher, Spanish is a mix of different language. For uh -huh. example, we, we have Arabic influence in Spanish, Latin, Greek influence. Sure. For example, when you said, ojalá te vaya bien, uh, that's the same that you said, inshallah, in, in Arab, Arab, Arabic language. Okay. Yeah, so it's a combination of different roots. And for that reason, I think the Spanish is not easy to learn. I no, it's not. used to talk with the American person, you know. Uh, in some occasion, a uh, U.S. Marine said me that, my God, the Spanish is complicated. It is. It is. Spanish is not easy. Yeah. Yep. Freddy. Hi, teacher. I'm so you? sorry, Dick. I have some problem with the connection because I'm not in my house right now, but I'm here. <laughs> Where That's are you? Important. In a club? No. Strip, um, a strip dance club. In my a God. strip club. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's because today I have a, a dinner with my colleague on my work, uh -huh. my job. Okay. So, like I know uh, today is the last day I have to connect. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, so, so thank you for being responsible. All right, so I think it's oh, time to return to you. the main Sorry session. No, don't worry, don't maybe. worry. Okay. Okay, excellent teacher. All right. Thank you. All right, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay, uh, any comments about the questions you were discussing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Everything is clear? I think no. Okay, so right now. Uh, that I just wanna say that this question can be applied not only about job, uh, it can be applied also in your in your daily life sure mm -hmm. yeah you know you can have a lot of kind of situation even with your family with your friends with your co-worker 
Definite. Bien, lo tengo aquí. Definitely, yes. Uh, this can yeah. happen everywhere. At yeah, school, it isn't about only at, about job. Exactly. At school, at work. Uh, even at church. At church. Exactly. Even at in church. the church. Yes. Remember that that, that that is not a perfect place. Exactly. Yes. Even even at church. Yeah. Even at church. Good. Any other comments related with the three questions? Anybody? Not it. No. no okay. So teacher, yes. teacher, I, I have a question. Yes, uh, I I would like to remember uh, what when I have to use make and do. What's the difference between them? Okay, may may has double function. You can use it to express a possibility. And you can also use it to ask for permission. For example, we may have a quiz today. That's no, 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 teacher. The verb make. Make, oh, make, make, make oh. and do. Oh, I thought you said may. Uh, do is very general. Make is when you're using your hands. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the difference. Mm -hmm. We normally we normally use uh, the verb make when we are talking about food. When you are doing something with your hands, something like uh -huh. this, right? Okay. Yes. Thank you. Uh, yes. When you are, uh, let's say, producing something with your hands, yes. then you say make. Man if man it's man general, man. if it's general, you say do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, so Thank do you. you do you make a sandwich or do you do a sandwich? Make a sandwich. Make a sandwich. A sandwich. I, make, I am making a sandwich. Yes, <laughs> making a, because you're using your hands, right? Okay. Yes. Okay. Nice. All right. Okay, um, any other questions? No? Okay, I'm going to play an audio. Do you guys have pen and paper with you? Yeah. No, teacher. But yes. But I can't take notes in my phone. Okay, right. I have to do memory. Okay. Yeah, you know, it's also good. Like, okay, I don't have pen and paper, so I'm going to use my retention, which is good too. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah. Yes. yes. All right. So once again, I'm going to mute everybody so you guys uh, can hear well. Yes, I'm here well. Questions one and two refer to the following conversation. How much do you suppose we should budget for that new software package? If we can find it on sale, we can get it for $650. We can't count on that, and we don't have time to look around for sales anyhow. We need it soon. I'll allow $900. Fine. I'll call the office supply company tomorrow to check the price and order it. I have a better idea. Take this credit card and go downtown and buy it directly from the computer store. That way, we'll have it tomorrow. Number one. How much will they budget for the new software? How much will they budget? Sure. Teacher, we can hear you. It's hard to hear. Okay. You hear me now? No, yeah. oh, teacher. No. Do you hear no. me now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How much will they budget for the new software? Six hundred and fifty dollars. Six fifty? Six fifty. Anybody else has a different opinion? Nine hundred. Okay. I hear nine hundred. Okay, so they mentioned okay. two different amounts. Two different, yes. Uh -huh. So you, the first thing you got to do is, okay, they mentioned two different amounts. One mm -hmm. amount is for this, and the other one is for something else. 
Mm -hmm. The question is, how much will they budget for the uh, for the software package? Mm -hmm. The budget was nine hundred. Ah, but budget they, was nine hundred. They say yeah. that they can find it, or uh, if they're looking, hey, they can find it for six hundred and fifty. Aha. Uh -huh. Good, very good. So they say, look, if we're lucky, we can find it in 650. But the man says, oh, but let's do something. Let's put 900. So that is the answer. Okay, li listen to the second question. How will they pay for the new software? How will they pay? With credit card. Credit card. With credit card. Who's giving the credit card? The man. The man. The man. Okay, very good. Oh, I thought they were. Okay, you hear me? Okay, you hear me now? Yes. 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 Okay, so there were yeah. only two questions. So I'm going to play it one more time just to make sure that everybody understands why they mentioned two different amounts. Once again, pay attention. Questions one and two refer to the following conversation. How much do you suppose we should budget for that new software package? If we can find it on sale, we can get it for $650. We can't count on that, and we don't have time to look around for sales anyhow. We need it soon. I'll allow $900. Fine. I'll call the office supply company tomorrow to check the price and order it. I have a better idea. Take this credit card and go downtown and buy it directly from the computer store. That way, we'll have it tomorrow. Number one. How much will they budget for the new software? All right. So, were you able to hear the two different amounts? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so what was 650? It's on sale. The sale. price of on sale. On sale. Okay, so sale. if they find it on sale, they will get it for six fifty. And what is the man's objection for that proposal? Because he don't have time. They don't have time. They, have time. they need it soon. Exactly. Yeah, as soon as possible. Uh huh. So, so what is the woman going to do? Going to the downtown. Going to the downtown. She said that she will and ask. buy direct to the software store. With the credit card. Uh -huh. With the credit card. That was the solution. Okay, something was wrong. <laughs> Okay, Maribel. Oh my God. Okay, anyways, so, so when is she gonna check with the price? When is she gonna check? There is a person die. So somebody's coming back to life. Zombie or similar? A video game I told. 
Should okay. be the game. <laughs> All right. So they're trying to buy a, 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 a software. They need it as soon as possible. The lady says, if we're lucky, we might get it for six fifty. But the man says, well, we don't have time to be looking for sales. So here's nine hundred dollars. Uh, try to get it as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. Go to downtown. And buy Go to downtown. The computer store. Uh huh. Yeah. Exactly. Direct with the computer. Exactly. All right. Um. Any questions about the audio? Okay, uh, let me show you this document here. Where's this document? Right here. You see the document? No. No, teacher. No. You don't see it. Okay, hold on. Right now. Do you see it now? Yes. All yes. right. Yes. Uh, have you had the chance to do these exercises in the platform? Yes, yes, I do. Yes. Refer from the website. Okay. Now, a reduce. Okay, a reduce relative yes. clause. When they say the word reduce, the word is literal. What do you understand by the word reduced? Make a short, a shorter, a shorter sentence. A short okay. The other one. Yes, to make it shorter. Now, look at the first example. Number one. I need a volunteer to read number one. Okay, someone who hopes to be a chef should get the proper training. Okay, so if I want to say that sentence in a reduced form, the only thing that I need to do is eliminate the word who and then the verb becomes with the ing form and that's all you have to do look at the first at uh, the second one <coughs> the photographer who lives upstairs has won many awards for his creativity uh, somebody please read number two the photographer living photo upstairs has yes, won you're... many awards for his creativity. Exactly. So once again, you eliminate who, who? and then the word lives becomes in the ING form. That's Jero. what you need to do. It, it becomes Jaron. Yes, it becomes Jaron. Is that clear? Oh, yeah. clear. Okay. Okay, hold on. We're having uh, this right here. All right. Um, I need a volunteer to read number one. Volunteer. A person who is willing to work with sick people could be a good nurse. Good. So how do you change that uh, into the reduced relative clause? Uh. Anybody? According to the first two examples, how will you change number one to the reduced form? A person willing to work with sick people could be a good nurse. Exactly. Very easy. You eliminate this and you say a person willing to work with sick people could be a good nurse. Simple as that. Is number one clear? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Another volunteer for number two. Someone who is looking for paid vacation. Pay vacation. Owner. Okay. So how do you change that into the reduced version? 
someone looking okay. for paid vacation shouldn't be a small business owner. Exactly. So it's very simple. The only thing you need to do is you eliminate who is, who has, and then automatically uh, it becomes reduced. So someone looking for paid vacation shouldn't be a small business owner. And as you can see, even if we eliminate it, the sentence is still complete. The yeah. sentence still makes sense. Mm -hmm. Another volunteer for number three. Anyone, Anyone who has a good voice is invited to auditions for the toy. Choir. 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 Okay. So how do you change that one to uh, to the reduced version? Anyone with a Anyone good voice. Anyone with a good voice. Very good. Invited invited to audition to audition for the for toy. A choir. Very good. Anyone with a good voice is invited to audition for the Choir. What is the meaning of choir? Coro. A, a group of persons who sings. Good. Who sing. Yes, it's a group of people that sing, usually in a church or in a musical band. Okay, uh, one more volunteer for number four. Someone who is interested who's in art history my love to work in a museum. All right, good. So, Nidia, how do you change that one into the reduced version? Someone is interest, interested in uh, history might love to work in a museum. Good. So, someone interested in art history might love to work in a museum. As you can see, with all the exercises that we have here, to eliminate who has, who is, and and the sentence is still complete. Sorry, Any, can, teacher, sorry, can you repeat number three? Anyone, anyone? with a good with a voice. voice. Uh, with a good yes. voice. Anyone mm -hmm. with a good voice is invited to audition for the choir. Okay, choir. Has anybody here ever been part of a choir? Choir. Mm -hmm. Never? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any questions about this exercise? No, teacher. No? Okay, so let's have a, a, a quick review about the different things we have been doing. When you finish unit four, there's going to be an exam. Some of you guys already finished it. Some of you guys maybe will do it today or tomorrow. Um, and there is a part where they will ask you about tag questions. Do you remember tag questions? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, what is a tag question? What's the function? Or you expect other people accept your opinion. Your opinion. Your opinion. Or confirm your opinion. Exactly. Exactly. So um, you use that questions when you expect the other person to have the same opinion as yours, or when you want to make sure or clarify something that you previously said, right? So I said, uh, Seoul is in Japan, isn't it? Seoul is in Japan, isn't it? No, it isn't. No, it isn't. What is the correct information? It is in Korea. It is in Korea. Exactly, exactly. So when I said, Seoul is in Japan, isn't it? I want to clarify, I want to verify, so you say, no, it isn't. The wool is in, in, in Korea. Yep. How is it, is it fresh where you guys are right now? How is the weather where you are? It's not a little fresh. Yes. yes, it's a little bit fresh. San Salvador right mm -hmm. now is a little bit fresh too. Yeah. They had um, 
predicted a cold front. Yes. But Seems I guess. Since tonight. Uh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because it I, will I, be. It will begin tomorrow. Tonight. Oh. Night, they say. But on Friday night. Okay, so it might be true because sometimes they said, oh, there's going to be a cold front, uh, get your sweater, your jackets, whatever, but nothing happens. Nothing happens, yes. But, but now true. you you feel that it's a little bit fresh or maybe it's true. And a little windy. Windy, yes. Lourdes is very hot right now. Really? Oh my God. Yeah. Why? Well, Lourdes is usually hot. Yeah, but tonight is very hot. I was I was today in Santa Ana, uh -huh. and it was it was hot. Okay. Yes, it is. Okay, Santana, that's a nice city. Yeah, yeah, I love Santana. Yes, it is. Santana is really cool. Santana yeah. is cool. One day they that I have the money. Out of the heaven. Exactly. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the day that I have money, I'm going to buy myself a house in Santana. Okay, um, so you use that questions to confirm what you previously said and when you expect the other person to agree with you. When the sentence, when the, when the original statement is positive, what is the form of the question? Negative. Negative. What happens if the statement is negative? The question is the question is positive. Positive. Okay. And, positive. And what is the only exception where you break uh, the traditional rules? Ah, uh, when you, you say, for example, I am a student. You are liberal. R and I. R and I. Yes. So the only exception is. Um, let me write this example here. So it says, I am a student. The title question is? R and I. R and I. Right. So this is the only exception. The only exception. I am a student, R and I. The first part is negative. I'm not your what is the tag question? I'm not your toy. What is the tag aren't, question? Aren't I? I'm not your toy. Aren't I? I'm not your toy. Hmm? Are you nice? Are you sure? What question, teacher? Okay. I'm not. Am okay. I? Am I? Am I? Exactly. Exactly. Remember, um, the exception applies only if you go from positive to negative. If you're going from negative to positive, it stays the same. Is that clear? All clear, all clear. Okay, good. All right, have they told you about the dates for the next class? No. 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 Uh, Marvin no, told me that the next level is, in, is going to start the next year. Really? Mm. The next year? Next year. Marvin, Marvin <laughs> told me that. Oh, because indeed. I was talking with him today uh, by WhatsApp. Okay. Well, yeah. I understood. I understood it was going to start like in ten days. Yes, I thought that. Because what, we always we always have one week off. Uh huh. Yes. And yeah. what is the name of the English, the next English course? Super advanced. Did you? <laughs> Super advanced. Super advanced. Superman. Super advanced. No, I. It's English. English for work. 
that's English the name for, of the program. That's the name English of the English for Avenger. Okay. <laughs> English, English for, for the Fantastic Four. That level English. So there is going to be another level. Sure, there is another level. Impossible Grammar mission. Or what? The third. The third part. The third part. Mm -hmm. The third part. Uh, well, coming, no. coming soon. Coming, coming soon. soon. <laughs> the in cinema. Near you. I will not be available for the next one. Available in Cinepolis. Why not, Cinepolis. I already got four. Teacher, and teacher. I need a break. Okay. Teacher, but in, in my work, my my co-worker haven't told me anything about the next level. Okay. Well, let's. Next let's... year will be nice. Next year I can start again. Sure, yeah, sure. Did I need vacation, teacher. Uh -huh, okay. <laughs> oh, poor Cindy, she needs vacation. <laughs> Everybody needs vacation. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, so um, let's hope that uh that, that we start in ten days. Yeah. So whether we start in ten days, a little bit before or a little bit longer, um, we're gonna be um in touch. Yes. So okay. don't disappear and always check the chat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. Sure. So I, I hope I hope to see you in a few days and get some rest. So when we start the next level, you are full of energy. Okay. okay. Nice. Okay. Thank Good you, night. Teacher. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you later. Bye. It was a pleasure. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.